Hello guys, I'm back again. And in this tutorial, what we'll be doing will be showing I'll be showing you how to actually work with this variety of the helpers, this helpers here. So what you actually want to do is just I want to make use of some some helpers here and actually I use them in a the project. So what we want to do right now, I want to change this dashboard to a welcome to and then you're going to use a value here that is going to fetch what the user will be using when they're logging in. So, all right, let's log out. And now, what we want to do right here, you see, I have a table. Under the table, users have a field that is going to fetch the name that the user is going to enter while they're registering. All right. So, this name is what will be displaying uh, in the welcome tab. Okay. So, let's try and log in. So, take note of this site name. Let's try and register a user. Uh, let me just uh, do something here. Let me let me do this. All right, so okay. Reload changes. And uh, let's go to users. Allow me to just delete this. And uh, allow the authentication again. Good. All right, now let's try and register here. And let's call this user. user. Right. Let's call this admin at admin .com. Let's call this. Don't worry about the roles. The roles we used them the other day. So. Side name. So this is where we're going to actually call this uh, uh homes collections. All right. So let's call this. So this is what we'll be using to display in the welcome tool, All right. So let's click there. You can update that if you want. So let's change this the dashboard to actually something that makes sense. So let's log in here. So you're going to change this to something that is welcome to whatever we saved there. So what we want to actually do here, we want to come to this, then you're going to drop that and let's add a custom view here. Okay, then tweet that. Under the custom view now, this we're going to add our code. So click on that and uh, we're going to add it here. Let's create a H1. All right, and at this, let's say, welcome to, let's do it strong here. All right, now, this is what you're going to do. You can view the helpers here. So we want to check that from when the user signed in. So what we want to do, we want to use an active user method here. Get active user method. So this is what you're going to actually do. So, okay. Let's go here and let's start writing our code. So let's do PHP echo get get active user and under here we're just going to do site name right. Remember that's what we actually used when you are signing registering. So close that and we want to do that. And uh, all right, so preview this and you're going to see welcome to a home as collections. Home. All right, this will only be displayed in the moment of here. Select an expected get active user. All right, so don't worry about that. Sorry, let's check out what the problem is. So, all right, so this is a problem. I'm sorry, and okay, so let's preview this. So, there we go. We have welcome to our home as collections, all right. So, this we are actually fetching these from when the user registered. Because you can see here we have Bahamas collection so try and edit these to uh, uh, new 
to our home is all right try and update that let's go back to home still there because we haven't set it to edit right count edit bit there anyway so let's go back and let's try and do something else let's go to a model let's let's just create a new section here let's drag a model All right so there you go model so there we go inside this model let's add a custom view page uh, drop it and uh, let's add a custom view right so there we go so we're actually going to open this custom view inside from that model so let's call this credentials credentials all right let's go back and let's preview this so there we go we can actually open it credentials so what we actually want to do let's go back inside the custom view and let's try and use some stuff here so let's Let's do order list. So when I order list, let's do L1. Okay, so let's try to do this. Let's v, v. All right, so let's go inside here and do email. So actually, what we're going to do here now, we're just going to do this. Let's come here and do PHP. Echo. Just going to do get active user. Then I'm just going to actually enter these details in here. So email there. You want to copy this and paste it in here. Paste it in here. Then you can actually do phone, right? Then you can actually do what? Uh, loads. Right, so you can actually do this. And this you're just going to use the phone. Okay, so let's preview that again. There we go. You can actually get the user details from the login session. Alright, so that will be it for this class. And uh, have a good day, guys.